So what's the deal with this guy anyways? Cosmic Crisis is Overwatch's Among Us game mode. Choose from 10 different heroes who receive skins in the Season 9 Battle Pass, which makes it the 9th season break is not getting a Battle Pass skin. Anyways, let's talk about the lore. From the voice line that plays when you're selected as the imposter, the Ravager has taken partial control of one of your crewmates to sabotage the ship. Fragile me. Follow my voice. Call upon you again. Answer, and you will discover unimaginable power. There are also unique hero voice lines that plays at the start of the round, which give us a bit of an insight how each hero plays as part of the story. The Harbinger Life Weaver is the main reason why the heroes appear in the first place. Life Weaver, your visions brought the team here. I hope you know what you're doing. At this point, it's still a bit unclear what the motive of the Life Weaver is, but looking at the skin and a lot of eyes present, I think we can make a good guess. Some of the other heroes also have some major red flags to show that they might just be possessed by the Ravager. Here's what Sojourn has to say about them. Sigma, don't let the darkness pull you in deeper. We need you on our side. Torbjorn, are you still in there? We need your best weapons to take out these null monsters. Anna, stay focused. Vengeance gave you this power, but you can't let it consume you. But by far, I think the most sassy one has to be Soldier 76. Just take a listen. Soldier 76, whatever deal you've struck, set it aside. You can still be a hero. The rest of the heroes seems to be trusted by Sojin to an extent. Here's what she has to say. Roadhog. Well, it takes a monster to tear apart monsters, doesn't it? Widowmaker, think you can use that cosmic sight for good this time? Iliari, I know your old team fell to the void. Don't let it take this one too. There is also a slight hint to actual Overwatch lore with the me interaction. May, I hope you can handle coming back here. Talk to the team if you start feeling out of control. And finally, the mythic Moira is kind of just here for the vibes. Moira, prioritize our people. Not your cosmic experiments. That's an order. At the start of the round, one player at random will be tempted by the Ravager to receive ultimate power, just like how your Ana will tempt you with ready. Nano only for her to when give it to your mercy when you're 93% to <sighs> And if you're the chosen one, our friendly pal over here will invite you to jump into hits. The time has come. Return to the moor in the earth and throw yourself in. Grant you my power. If you accept its invitation, then congrats, you are now fighting a 1v3 against your former teammates, who would probably report you for gameplay sabotage after this is done. Anyways, here's what it looks like to play as one of the Ravager's ally. That's a clean swiftly! Answer the call of shadow and descend into my depths. Your ally has descended into darkness, and a null champion rises. He'll respawn at the platform right in front of the Ravager, which is not a good idea especially if your teammates are also on their way back to the ship, so I decided to just run around and try to get a flank here. I found two of them here, one of them carrying the heavy battery, so since I have my ult, I decided to just go for it. I've got you in my sights. Unfortunately, the Sigma was not with them, and I had one tank to handle, which is a bit unfair as a soldier. So since he's gonna ult, I'm just gonna run away and hopefully try to recover, but his allies spawn a little bit too soon. It took a lot of running around again, but finally I managed to isolate all three of them separately and take the win for the Ravager team. And here's the cutscene for the Team Ravager's victory. Shadow now covers this continent, and soon my agony will encircle the earth. No suffering mortals. No defeat. With that, that's pretty much it for this event. Just wanted to direct some attention to this tweet, stating that most of the devs that actually have been working on this game mode has been laid off recently. This game mode is definitely a blast to play. Hope to see more co-op missions in the future too. So here's a heartfelt thank you to anyone who has been part of it.